Scottie Pippen calling Phil Jackson a racist because Phil Jackson decided to go with Tony Kukoc for the shot in that 1994 playoff game. And that's where I say when he's off his rocker, I mean, he's off his rocker. Like, he's clearly been going off, had these hot takes about a bunch of different things uh, related with basketball and all that, and that's one thing. But then to come back and say, well, you know, now that I think about it, all these years later. 28 years. 28 years later, Phil Jackson was actually racist. That's why he did it. And then, look, calling people racist has become a boy cries wolf scenario. Plain and simple. It happens so much with so little proof and justification behind it, no one believes it anymore. It's the same situation here with with Scottie Pippen. Maybe he has some hard evidence somewhere that this was the case, but I seriously doubt it, and I told you this yesterday. I'm supposed to believe that Phil Jackson was drawing up a play for that moment in the 1990, in a playoff game in 1994 and thought to himself in that moment, you know what? Who's going to take this last shot? I'm going to base it entirely off their race. Oh, man, I want to give it to Scottie Pippen, but he doesn't have the right skin tone. You know what? I'm going to have to go with Tony Kukoc because he does have the right skin. You're telling me that was the thought process. Really? It's one thing. If, if that's all he wanted to debate was, hey, was it the right decision for him to choose Tony over me? That's fine. We can debate that all day. Yeah, easy, easy semantics. But as soon as you bring race into it and claim that he's racist, you've lost me. When you bring in the accusations that somebody is racist with no proof or, or, or hard evidence... It means nothing. It's pointless. No one, I mean, there will be plenty of people that will immediately buy into it because they'll say, wow, Phil Jackson was white. Of course he was racist. There will be that many, uh, those people. Those people are dumb. But here's what happened. After The Last Dance aired, okay, which has been now over a year, yeah. Scottie Pippen saw that from Michael Jordan's angle. We all knew that going in, this was a Michael Jordan approved documentary. Everything in it was run by Michael Jordan. He said, yes, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Including the Scottie Pippen stuff. Mm-hmm. When Scottie Pippen talked. Since that time, Scotty has felt the need to go out, give his side of the story that wasn't shared on that in that documentary, to, to call out Kevin Durant, to get in, in different feuds with Stephen A. Smith on Twitter, to, to come on Dan Patrick's show and call Phil Jackson racist. I really think that... When all that happened on the last dance and he saw that, I think it just, like, it, it triggered. It, it kind of set him off in his head. He's like, I got to go out and make sure no one believes this. I got to go out and say my side of the story. I don't care how radical and baseless some of my claims are. I'm going to make them because I got to get back out there and show everyone that, hey. And, look, I get it. He feels from his time, and we saw it there. He felt disrespected. He always has. And he was in the shadow of Michael Jordan, and he was very, very good. We know that. I can't imagine. I would have to think that feeling was always – think think about this. What are the chances of you being – um, a top five, top three player in your pers- yeah. respective sport, but it just so happens that you're playing at the same time where arguably the greatest player of all time yeah. is playing with.